Hey y'all, happy Monday. It is the day before moving day. Look at this, look, look, look at this. It's just, a, it's a lot. So I've been bringing stuff over manually. Well, I guess it's the only way to bring it over. I mean like not in boxes because all the boxes that I ordered from Amazon, Amazon canceled my order. And by the time I will be able to get some new boxes, um, I will have already moved. So I'm here today, sorry for the echo, because um, I'm getting my internet and stuff transferred today. And uh, as you can see, I've been moving dishes and kitchen stuff and pantry stuff. Um, I need to, this week, buy a washer and dryer, a vacuum, a new vacuum cleaner, and um, get something because of the cricket situation. Because I've probably killed six crickets since I've been here. I think it's because of all the new construction and then all of the rain and all of that kind of stuff. So I am here early waiting on the internet people. So I'm going to try to put some of this stuff somewhere. And, um, and then Tuesday, tomorrow will be moving day. Hey, y'all. Happy Tuesday. It's moving day. I was up till 2.30 in the morning. So we have a slight problem. I have more, I have more stuff than they have truck space. So gotta figure out how to get it all moved because I'm not gonna move it. Um, next time I move, I'm hiring professional packers because I, 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 me and the packing, I was up to 2.30 in the morning. So my mom's gonna come with her car. And we're gonna load my car, plus what the movers brought. This ain't even all of it. That's all kitchen stuff. Oh y'all, I ain't moving. There's more, there's my couch. There's more stuff over here. There's more stuff in the office, but today is moving day. Hey y'all, so it is Thursday. <laughs> so I, on my moving day, y'all, when I tell you it was a mess, it took them nine and a half hours to move me and I know I don't have that much stuff. Um, I'm not even gonna get into you get what you pay for, all that kind of stuff. I just will not be using them again. Will not recommend them. Not gonna <laughs> bam out them, but very unprofessional one of the guys literally um, halfway through the move decided he didn't feel like moving anymore and went and sat in the truck and left the other guy to move everything by himself. Um, and I was on a third floor apartment, y'all. Literally then tried to charge me more money than they had quoted me because this wasn't by the hour. This was like a flat fee. Um, just it was it was just a mess so i was just like you know what i'm just glad that i am moved i'm glad that i am in my new spot yesterday was wednesday i did not have the energy to vlog or do anything i literally ordered some groceries from whole foods picked those up and was on the couch most of the day yesterday i did go to dance class last night barely barely made it though barely <laughs> almost didn't make it um so today um i had a call this morning uh, with my health accountability coach if you will um i had a wrap-up call with her because we just finished a four-month um uh coaching program that i did with her and then now i'm about to head over to my old place because the cleaning company Oh, I hired a cleaning company to do the move out clean. And so I need to go and let them in um, to my old place. And so um, so they can clean and do all that. That way I can get that cleaned, you know, get everything wrapped up with my old apartment complex so I can turn off all the utilities over there. Since right now I got utilities on over there and I got utilities on over here. So um, I'm filming this before I even have uploaded the empty house tour let me move this here is that better lighting not really it's super empty in here i'm upstairs in like the loft area i will say this in in texas we don't 
necessarily have basements so we have like these game rooms upstairs so that's where i'm at right now i decided to put my furniture up here because i'm gonna have to buy um a lot of furniture i'm kind of excited about it like i really get to decorate so right now my downstairs is completely empty except for all the boxes that are in the kitchen which i have not unpacked y'all let me say <laughs> let's talk oh that's my bedroom let's talk about priorities because the only thing I've unpacked so far is my makeup because <laughs> I wanted I wanted to put on some makeup. Y'all know. Well, I don't know if y'all know, but one of the things that is like play for me is makeup. Like some people feel like makeup is like a must have like oh, I'm going to work. I have to put on makeup. I don't feel that way. Makeup is like playtime for me. It's like, you know, I tell people it's like cooking on my face and all of my different palettes and colors are like different spices and ingredients that I can come. I can cook up a different look every time. I do my makeup, but I hadn't had, I don't think I had put on any makeup in maybe almost two weeks. And I was just like, I want some face. Now I will say this, my, I'm vlogging with my phone and it definitely makes me look about three shades darker than I am. I listen and I'm pretty melanated. So like I'm on the deep, rich end of the spectrum, but the lighting is just off. I mean, I'm in front of a window but the lighting is off so and i'm looking a little oily and because it's very foggy foggy and humid today but yeah i'm about to head over to my old place it's empty but i need to let them in and i need to turn the air on so it's not much to see over there but i may take you i may i may not we'll see hey y'all so i am back home excuse the head I'm, I'm so tired went have the apartment cleaned and then i just went window shopping and chatted with my godmother while they were cleaning it then i turned in all my keys and stuff like that ignore my chaise lounge like i don't even have a place for it right now so it's just right there um so so yeah, just did that. Um, had a couple tacos. I came home, excuse me. It's like 20 minutes to seven. And for whatever reason, I am exhausted. Like I'm thinking about like washing my face, brushing my teeth and going to bed at like eight o'clock. But I feel like I'm gonna be hungry. The problem is all my dishes are still packed up and I just, I don't have it in me to um unpack the dishes so even though i bought some groceries i have a couple things that need to be cooked i don't have it in me so i don't know what i'm doing about that but um i might have to order some doordash or something because or pick something up because i just you know i'm tired <sighs> Excuse me, i don't even know where i am in the vlog i apologize for the quality um because it's dark here. I don't even have all the lights on. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I filmed so far. I think I filmed, like, pre-moving, day before, moving. I know I didn't film anything on Wednesday. Then today, I didn't even, I, sh I should have showed y'all the empty apartment, but I didn't. Because I literally let her in and was like, and I'm out. So, um... That's it. So I'm going to get the electricity turned off on Monday. So, um, um, what's today? Thursday. Y'all, this is how tired I am. Today is Thursday. They, they're going to do a walkthrough tomorrow and, um, I'm going to have the electricity turned off on Monday and then I'll be completely done with that place and just here in the new place. So, excuse me y'all then I, I'm going back out of town next week it's not a vacation I'm going for a funeral actually this is like my second funeral in three weeks four weeks so in October I had a wedding the first weekend I had um the second weekend an unexpected funeral um I had a family member pass away then I was supposed to move, move the third weekend that did not happen um then the fourth weekend, I went to Baltimore for a baby shower. I had a great time hanging out with Patricia. Uh, guys, as I know, if y'all used to watch Girl Talk, you know. So, went to her baby shower. 
in Maryland and then came back. Thought I was going to move that weekend, spent that weekend packing, moved on Tuesday. And today is Thursday and next weekend I'll be back in Kansas City, my hometown, um, for another funeral, you know. So um, somebody that not technically like blood relative, but somebody that I, I've known for 30 years. So <sighs> life, you know, anyway, okay. I didn't mean to go down that, but I, when I say you girls been busy, but look, it's me. Blog, blog, I can't even talk. I was gonna say blogging. I've never blogged blogging. So we'll see if we do some more vlogging. Um, I did a little bit of unpacking today. I only unpacked my makeup as you can see. This is Pat McGrath, but like a holiday color from a holiday palette from like two years ago. And some Natasha Denona. Um, what's on the face? Estee Lauder Double Wear, Pat McGrath Concealer, Chanel Blush. I Listen, the face was cuter earlier. Um, so I've only unpacked that. <laughs> the priorities, right? Like out of everything, I unpacked my makeup. But um, I got I got to do the kitchen next. Like, I just got to do it. So I may get up early and do it. My mom is actually in town right now. And I'm supposed to be hanging out with her tomorrow. So, but we're supposed to be hanging out in the morning. So I may get up early and start unpacking the kitchen because I'm, I'm tired of eating out. Hey, y'all. <laughs> Happy Monday. I realized that I never came on and finished the moving vlog. So it's Monday. Um, I spent um, all day Friday with my mom. So I didn't vlog. And then Saturday I had dance class. I don't think I vlogged in either. Sunday, I was on the couch all day. I was on the couch all day on Sunday. I don't know why I do this. I don't know why. Like, if y'all ever, if you're following me on Instagram at Chef Evelyn and you should, I, I'm always talking with my arm in the air. I don't know what that's about. It's a thing. But um, on Sunday, I spent the day on the couch. Today, I actually got to sit down and do some actual work. Um, released or announced two new offers to my audience via email about how they can work with me in 2023. So I'm excited about that. I've got some stuff to do this week before I head out of town for yet another funeral. So anyway, um, but this is just me coming on to say that was the moving vlog. Listen, I'm getting back into the vibe of vlogging. So I forgot to put an outro on there. And uh, yeah, that, that's all I wanted to say. And I'll see you in my next vlog. Peace. Okay, y'all, I'm doing an empty apartment tour. So this is my living room, my kitchen. Got my purse over there. So there's that, okay. I love the floor to ceiling windows. I'm gonna have them put in a chandelier there, but if you go through, I wanna show you the bedroom, empty. So I'll be taking y'all on a journey as I decorate all of this, but here is the closet. Nice walk-in closet. Definitely can put like some shoes through there, dresses, purses, things like that. Love that. Okay, more floor to ceiling windows. And then we go into the bathroom. And I love this bathroom because, let me see, it doesn't, oh, that's the fan. So if you come in here, there is a separate shower from the tub because a lot of places these days are just doing showers and I love, I'm a, I'm a tub girl. So there's that, okay, love that. So if you come out of there, so, go back this way. 
and there is the washer and dryer and like the maintenance closet oh let me show y'all this archway this is so beautiful i don't know if y'all can see that but love the little details i'm gonna come through this is a great size linen closet we have that and then second bathroom hello okay with a super tall shower soaker tub beautiful and then this is going to be my office slash filming studio great tall windows you can kind of see how that relates to the bathroom and then there's two closets in here so there is a walk-in closet which i appreciate the second walk-in and then there's like a standard closet okay so that is the empty apartment tour let me turn off some of these lights because <laughs> electricity bill okay but yeah y'all that's it and uh i'll keep you posted on the progress